everybody, my name's Ardendris, and welcome back to Hollow Knight. Last time, um, we had quite the adventure, didn't we? So, um, last time, we beat Grimm. And, oh boy, that is literally all we did last time. Because it took me two hours to do so. And I had to, like, make it like a smash cut up of everything that happened. I died 70 times. I, I I literally put a death counter on on that video. I died 70 times. It was it was ridiculous, but awesome at the same time. But we finally beat Grim, and because of that, our little buddy got all grown up. Uh, that's really cool. So at this point, we're heading to beat Hollow Knight. That's our goal for today. I'm I'm saving the pantheons for like a post game thing. So our goal today is to uh, face down the final threat of the main story. I'm assuming we're going to get one more bench before we get down there. So I'm going to switch over to my compass so I know exactly which way to go. But, um, yeah. Not the last... Dude, we're, we're going towards the finale of the game. So let's just jump into it, I guess. I go right from here, right? Yeah, it's literally one screen to the right. If I had taken damage from one of the little bug things after all I went through with Grim, that would have been insane. The Black Egg Temple. Open. Go. Heavily infected. Hi, Hornet. I'm not at all surprised to see you here. I'm impressed, little ghost. You've burdened yourself with the fate of this world. Yet you still stand strong. To break the dreamer's seals would alone be considered an impossible task. But to accept that void inside yourself that cast you as something rather exceptional. Uh, okay, it's the same. But to accept the void inside you that cast, that cast you as something rather exceptional. I'm assuming that's different because we have Void Heart? We could have gotten to here without Void Heart, which means that's a different line. But, uh, I, th I think Void Heart. I'm, I'm not, Void Heart has other meaning, reasons behind existence than we already know, than we've already seen in the game, I think. Actually, did opening the door change what you say now? The path is open, one way or another, and end awaits inside. I won't be joining you in this. That space is built to sustain your likes, its bindings would drain me were I to join. Don't be surprised. I'll not risk my own life in your attempt. Though, if the moment presents, I'll aid as I am able. Thank you, Hornet. Ghost of Hollow Nest, you possess the strength to enact an end of your choosing. Would you supplant our birth-cursed sibling? Or would you transcend it? So, we get a choice in this fight. Black Egg Temple, a place of pure darkness. Save for small moments of light here and there. Oh boy. Oh, I'm feeling it. I am most definitely feeling it. Rest. The final bench. Compass comes off. Sprint Master comes off. What goes on in its place? I think we leave the Grim Child behind. What do we do? Quick slash? The uh, Mark of Pride for a long nail. And then put on... Dalbert Shell? Maybe? Or we do this. Uh, do that. And then don't bother changing it out. This is my, like, main melee build that I keep using. I think it works. But I think this is what we're going to try first. Vessel. Though bound, you shall know the state of the world. Hollow Nest will be whole again. Completion percentage viewable in hint inventory. Oh, huh? Um. Oh, yeah, there it is. We've encountered 153 out of 155? 
Interesting. Dick, do you show what we haven't seen, or do I have to figure that out on my own? I'm curious if the Hollow Knight's going to have one, and then uh, something else will pop up. And then, but that you can only see once you reload the save file after beating it. Who else is going to be here? Okay, we don't see what's missing. Completed, we just haven't killed anything. Enough. Um, nothing changes on the map. And nothing changes on the inventory. You know what? Is 153 enough for the hunter? I'm going to go check that before we actually continue on. So, one second. I'll see you over at the hunter. Okay, we're back over here with the hunter. Took me a moment to get back here, but, uh, hello. Uh-huh. Oh, your journal grows fat and full. Only those last few rare beasts remain left to stalk. Search the kingdom's court. Uh, yeah, that's the same thing again. So, do we need the last two missing ones? Um... Just to see what we missed, I am curious. I'm gonna, gonna try and avoid too many. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna look up the last two things we might have missed on our journals, just to see if. Actually, does it require full completion? I'm gonna look this up. If we can very quickly finish the hunter's thing, the hunter storyline, then I'm gonna do it before we can before we fight Hollow Knight. But if not. That's might that's probably not happening. And we might just finish it out as we do the Pantheons. So let me double check to see exactly what we need for that mission. One second. Okay, we're back here at the Temple of the Black Egg so we can go fight Hollow Knight. So I, just, so I looked it up. I know what two enemies we're missing as far as the guide goes. Apparently the Hollow Knight does have an entry. But, uh, you get it after defeating it when you load back up the save file. And it's not actually required for the, uh, hunter thing. But apparently all the hunter thing is, is you beat all of the enemies and get the fully completed journal entry. Oops. And then you get an achievement for it. So that's all you get out of it. So I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I'm not, like, achievement hunting over here. But, um, the two enemies we missed were, like, the big armored bugs that, like, walk around in the acid water. If you remember what I'm talking about, I think there's some down in both Green Path and Fungal Waste, if I remember correctly. Does Fungal Waste have any? Fungal Waste, maybe not, actually. There might be one in Fog Canyon, but I don't remember. I don't remember. I hope you know what I'm talking about. I think in, like, the room just above Overgrown Mound, there's a couple. And then apparently the enemy... I think they're in the big room before you enter the junk pit. They like guarding the entrance. They're like big grub looking things. Those are apparently also an entry that we didn't get. But I'm not going to worry about it too much. Our, uh, our goal today is to beat the game. Let's go. Hi. Hello, Hollow Knight. I break your chains and I break your chains and the fight begins. One. Two. Three. Oh boy, here we go. Four. Hello, Hollow Knight. Here we go. Oh, that's a big swing. Oh, you teleport. Okay. Oh, you jump too. Oh, wow. You can parry me. Come on, Hollow Knight. Oh, are we in a phase change already? Downward dark. Oh, I thought he had sharp shadow there, but no. Okay. There we go. Come at me. Oh, what? Oh. You're stabbing yourself. Oh. Oh, wow. I got too close. 
What is this? Oh wow. Uh uh. Oh. No. Heal up once, twice. Oh, what is this? Oh no, I got hit by one. Here we go, scream again. Oh, oh Hornet! Get the Dream now! Hi, Hornet! I saw the... Okay. I definitely just saw the dream nail particles pop up there for a second and then was like, okay, that means a dream nail, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, hi. Uh, I'm shaky. That was a. <clears throat> sorry. That was a really cool fight. I didn't think I was stronger than I was supposed to be for. I was better prepared for it than I should have been. Challenge. We don't see our masks right now. But I definitely took some hits, so if I can heal up, I should. I'm not sure if this is actually going to heal me. But Hornet chained up Hollow Knight right there during our fight. And that prompted me to dream now. We're inside. Okay, challenge. Are we challenging the infection and that sword? Hi, uh, the radiance. Yeah, you are very bright. Um, oh, laser beams. Oh, I should have dashed there. Oh, you do two damage. Oh, I didn't dash soon enough there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's very hard to dodge. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Huh. And we... Okay. So... That's the true final boss, isn't it? Uh, Hollow Knight's, uh, like, yeah, this is totally the major boss, but then you enter the Hollow Knight stream to fight the Radiance? And I'm assuming the Radiance is, like, the true foe? Okay, okay. So, the Hollow Knight's fight is cool. If I can make it to the Dream Nail focus thing again, then we're good. Okay. Okay, we're going straight into the Hollow Fight. Hollow Knight fight now. Okay. The, the Radiance is the hard one, though. Ah, that was bad placement. Come at me, Hollow Knight. Come at me, sibling. Ah, I dashed at it and then didn't have a sharp shadow. Oh, that... Felt like it should have been a parry, but wasn't. I forgot about that move's existence. I probably should heal more here, but I'm not. You're doing this. This is, I'm assuming, like, the final phase. Okay. Avoid all that. I can actually do damage while this is happening. It's just difficult. Oh, I got too close there. Heal up once, heal up twice. Okay, Hollow Knight. Okay. Okay, Hornet, chain him up. Let me enter his mind. Thank you, Hornet. Okay, oh, we go right into the Radiance now. What am I? What is? That's a different attack pattern. Oh, wow. 
Oh, I thought I could dodge it, but I wasn't fast enough. What? Oh. Okay, Radiance. Okay, the... Ah, oh, I missed. Uh... Oh, wow. Ah, uh, dash, please. Oh. Oh, that was close. Oh, I jumped up into it. Oh, I jumped up into it. Oh, no. No. Oh, no, Sharp Shadow. Ah. Uh, Sharp Shadow was a little bit longer, and the swords were coming a little bit faster, and I survived there. Okay. Hmm. Huh. I can beat the Hollow Knight. And if I beat the Hollow Knight, I I get full heal. So, um... I'm not sure if my build for beating the Hollow Knight matters. I think I can just beat the Hollow Knight. So, should I focus on... Hmm. On the Radiance instead? In which case, what would I put on instead? Something... Yeah, either more health or something to heal would be nice. Um, hmm. I don't know. Um, hmm. Could I do that, that, and... Oops, not that. That instead. Okay. Interestingly, most of the... Dr That doesn't give me more masks. What am I thinking? <laughs> that still just gives me four masks. It's just I got long nail instead of market pride now. There we go. Hmm. My only idea of what to change out just bend it up with the same thing but worse. Okay. So interestingly enough, it treats a death to the radiance like a full death, unlike the dream fights where dying to one of the dream fights it just bring isn't treated as a full death and you have to regather your soul. Oh, that was close. Come at me, Hollow Knight. I got inside of him. Or... Where in I think our character is genderless. Is the Hollow Knight genderless too? I don't know. I, th I said him instead of them. I don't know. There we go. Ah... Oh, I thought you were about to do your stabby thing. Here's where you do your stabby thing. Come on, I'm beating you up to try and help the world. Thank you, Hornet. Get the uh, here we go, Radiance. Oh, what? Oh, wow! That was rude. Ah! Okay. Oh, wow. I'm off the screen. That is not helpful. Once. Twice. Oh, wow! Oh, wow. That was close. I'm unprepared for that. Oh, wow! At least... No, that was... That was bad. <laughs> At least... The Radiance doesn't do contact damage. Which is really nice. Make sure we have full soul. Thank you, Salubrous bl Blessing. I can freely jump through the Radiance. Which is really nice. That's one of my biggest problems with fights. Is that I end up taking way too much accidental contact damage. And the Hollow Knight is really cool as far as fights go. 
But this isn't the main attraction of Hollow Knight, interestingly enough. I fell right on him. I was too slow on a dash there. Wow. Oh, wow. That was a bad idea. I am stuck in the corner with him. Oh, really? Dodge everyone but the last one, basically. Okay, I, I got a lot of damage in enough to do this. Okay, make sure we don't die to Hollow Knights. I'm I'm kind of I'm becoming kind of nonchalant with this ver with this fight. After figuring out that the radiance exists. Thank you, Hornet. Here we go, Radiance. We challenge you. There we go. Thank you, uh, Shadow Sneak. Oh! Ah, oh, that was bad. No, no! No, no! Oh, I tried to dash there, but I was too slow on it. Oh, wow. What? I thought I... Sharp Shadow was like a half second away, maybe. Like the particles that show that Sharp Shadow's about to come back were on my body. Yeah, like that little animation where like the shadows come out and then come back in, that was happening when I dashed at the end there. Aw, oh, man. Ah. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I think I need some sort of way to avoid taking damage during that part of the fight. Balder shell? Mark for long nail, uh, unbreakable heart? Might be it. We give up a little bit of health, but we can at least, but we can block damage that's coming our way. Okay, Hollow Knight. I was way too slow jumping out of the way that time. Oh, wow. Again. The nail is quite a bit shorter. I always forget exactly how much shorter Long Nail is over Mark of Mastery until I switch between them. Definitely going a little bit too nonchalant with this, I think. Come on. I just need you to go into... There we go. This one's pretty easy to dodge. Oh, that is not... Come on, scream. Big Hornet. Here we go. Radiance round four or five. I don't remember which. Oh, I dashed the wrong way to avoid that. Oh, wow. I was only expecting two lasers. Oh, wow. One. One. Oh, what? I jumped up right into it. No. No. I sharp shadow. No, I... I was healing, realized I wasn't in a great spot, and stopped healing. Which in turn got me killed. I, I should have just tried to heal it, got knocked out of healing, and gotten the iframes. I'm not sure I really need to keep gathering soul before this fight. Um, is that one? 
I can try using Downward Dark just for iframes. I can try it. And Downward Dark doesn't seem like it's going to be able to help do damage, really, because Radiance is too high up in the air. I was too slow on the dash. I got contact damage there again. Scream one. Phase two is when it starts using uh, the infection powers. Scream three is when it starts stabbing itself. Ah, contact damage. Oh, that attack always gets me. Oh, I jumped right into that. There we go. Last scream. Thank you, Hornet. Here we go. I felt like I should have gotten lasered there, but didn't, which is nice. Oh, that was silly. What? Oh, I... I lost where I was. Ah! Oh, descending dark is too slow to come out sometimes. There we go. I got one hit in. Face change. Oh, oh. The darkness. Oh, we're chasing the radiance now. One. Two. Oh no, this is like the second stage of the fight. I was silly thinking it was going to be that easy. Oh no, that was silly. No! No! Heal up once. Twice. Thrice. No, healing always runs out at the worst possible time. No. Thank you, Sharp Shadow. No, I was too slow on the dash there. Okay, okay. We can actually use Descending Dark. That helps out Roaring Radiance. It actually does a little bit of damage. I didn't think it would. Oh, what am I doing? I want Salubra to heal me up for Sol. I jumped off too soon. Okay, okay. Here. We fight Hollow Knight in order to enter its mind. Then the real challenge begins. We're gonna get this. Hello, Hollow Knight. Oh, I was too slow on the dash there. Oh, we actually parried each other, though. Oh, I shouldn't have dashed there. Look at that. Okay, scream one. There we go. Dodge it. Dodge it. Yes. There we go. I thought I had Sharp Shadow, but I guess not. Come on. I basically just keep smacking Hollow Knight until I enter its brain. Oh, I tried getting away from it, but it was too slow. This attack is uh, pretty easily dodged if I'm actually paying attention. Is that the last scream? Or is there one more? Hey, Hornet. Hornet. Get the Let's go. Okay, Radiance. Ah, uh, I... That was silly. Ah, 
I jumped up right into it. No, that was close. I jumped up right into it again. Heal up once, twice. Ah, uh, here we go. Shadow takes the Radiance, and the Radiance runs away. We can take this moment, heal up to full. Once we get up here, the Radiance pops back up. No, that was silly. I uh, choose too far down. I thought Shadow Dash would shave me there. Oh, I thought it was above a platform. Oh, that was silly. Heal up once. Okay. Missed the second time. Oh, no. Oh, I missed the platform. Okay. We're running higher up. Two. Three. Lasers are just sort of coming down at me. Oh, the shades are following me up to face down the radiance. <gasps> That's it. The shade of the Hollow Knight. Oh, our shade. Oh. Oh. I'm shaky. I'm shaky, shaky. The darkness consumes the light. And. Oh. Oh. A tornet? Okay, horn is fine. But, um... Yeah, I didn't think we were. <laughs> Based on the fact that our shade left our body in order to uh, finish off the radiance and finally end its scourge. In the shadows rest. Oh, the music. Oh, the music. A game by Team Cherry. Defeat Radiance and consume the light. Dream no more. Is the achievement I just got. Ari Gibson and William Pellin. Oh boy, I'm feeling shaky. Like, oh my goodness. Technical director, David Kazi. Kazi, I don't know. Kazi, I don't know. Found in music by Christopher Larkin. Marketing and public relations, Matthew Leth Griffin. System and Tools Programming, David Kazi. Looks like I'm... Even if I wanted to, I'm not sure I could skip these. 
Additional programming by Jack Vine. Additional coding tools by David Lancaster and Michael Ken Jenkins. Environment dressing, Tyler Bartley, Nathan Elmer. Character voices by... That basically everyone on the team and some of their loved ones. <laughs> Looks like... Like, some of the last names are some of the same as some of the people who worked on it, but not all of them. The City of Tears vocals by Emilio Jones, Viola. There's a whole lot of people. A lot of cool people made this game. And oh boy, this was a good game. <laughs> I'm usually... I don't usually... Oh, historically, I haven't actually played many... I almost, could, I almost said JRPGs. No, that's not what I meant to say. Um, uh, Metroidvanias. <laughs> Like, I've played exactly one other Metroidvania in my life, I think. <laughs> so, um, yeah. This, this pro I think is legitimately only, like, the second one I've ever played to completion. I think I've played little bits of other ones before. But oh boy, this was really good. And I did get a, quite a bit better, I think, once I actually learned how to play. I don't know. I think I made bring metroidvanias onto the channel more often because this was a whole lot of fun <laughs> but obviously we're not done with it just yet so we got more to do we, we got the pantheons to do i was thinking about how i want to do that i want to try streaming at some points soon so i was thinking i was gonna end the series here and then maybe like a week or so, maybe a few days. I don't know exactly when I'll do it. Oh, congratulations. Well done on achieving this great feat. You persevered and you triumphed. We hope you enjoyed yourself in the world of Hollow Knight. We'll meet again soon on the road ahead. Thank you. Game completion. 108%. I'm 36 hours and 58 minutes. Oh my goodness. 108, huh? Is that because Radiant? I'm. Hmm. Yeah. You can beat this game without going all the way to Awake Awoken Dream now. And you need the Awoken Dream now to go get the white. The other half of the white mask. Which you need to get Void Heart? And do you need Void Heart to actually beat it? To do that? Is there something optional we did that actually would make it so that... Yeah, you can probably beat just the Hollow Knight and not the Radiance. You got a different ending for that, maybe? I don't know. That's really cool if you do. Steel Soul Mode unlocked. No shade, no reviving. Death is permanent. The ultimate challenge. We are not going to be doing that. But, um... Just to make sure, we can re-enter this, right? Curious. Do we have new options for starting a new game? Oh yeah, it does. It has mode select now. Cool. But uh, just we can like reload. This is gonna put us in black egg. I'm assuming, right? Yeah. And Radiance has one. Oh yeah, we got a thing for Nightmare King Grim. Nightmare King. Twisted Specter, Spar Scarlet Flame. The expanse of dream is pat and past was split. One realm now must stay apart. Darkest reaches, beating red. Terror of sleep in the nightmare's heart. From the seer. We've encountered 154 out of 156 now. Okay. But the radiance. The light forgotten. The plague, the infection, the madness that haunts the corpses of Hollow Nest. This light that screams out from the eyes of this dead kingdom. What is the source? I suppose mere mortals like myself will never understand. Um, does the Hollow Knight have not have one? Do we only get the Hollow Knight if we actually kill the Hollow Knights? Well, they do still have a few minutes. Do we just try for a different ending then? Sure, why not? But, um, anyways, I got distracted by other stuff. Um, I would like to start uh, streaming at some point, or like try it out for the first time. What I'm thinking about is I think that I'm going to end the series with this episode, and then like a week maybe, or a few days. I don't remember, ex I don't know exactly when I'm going to actually do this. I'm going to stream the Pantheon runs, I think. Because that seems like it might be a good time. But I'm curious if we can't get a different ending 
or I'm, I'm curious if we beat just a hollow knight and we don't do in the dreams if something different will happen so come on hollow knight I, I love how i looked at the time said we're at 40 minutes i can just beat the final boss one more time and be fine i just i was i'm just fine just saying that <laughs> Because, oh boy, Hollow Knight is a really cool boss, but knowing that he's not the strongest, that there's a, that the Radiance is actually stronger. <laughs> I got hit once during the Hollow Knight fight here. Okay, I got overconfident, I think. Like, Hornet's about to show up here. If I don't Dream Nail it, Will something different happen? Oh yeah, Hornet gets knocked unconscious there. I'm assuming this is the true end? Or like the regular ending? Oh yeah, the infection makes... Oh, hold to focus. Oh, we're absorbing the... infection from the Hollow Knight. Oh. And Hornet's going... Okay. So this is the other option. Hornet helps us ends up unconscious. We become the host for the infection. Oh. And Hornet stays trapped in here with us forever. That's the not good ending. <laughs> Defeat the Hollow Knight with Hornet by your side. Sealed siblings. Yep. Can I, can I skip these? Doesn't look like it. They're, they're not that long, which is good. Whoops. But, I, but we just sort of have to watch through them for a moment here. But anyways. I got distracted again. Uh, streaming. Maybe a week, maybe a few days, I'm going to stream the Pantheon runs, I think. I'm going to do like I usually do between series. Tomorrow will be just like a one-off random game from Itch. Maybe a couple random games for like the Scratch and Itch videos I do. And then we're going to start our next series. And then do I want to put a date on it? Let's, let's see. Today, when this goes up, it's going to be the 22nd. Tuesday is the 22nd. Um... You know what? I'll think it over. Obviously, I live with my family. I have to, like, talk over things, like, when I'm going to be doing things, just to make sure we're all set. But... Maybe Friday? Saturday? I'll talk with people, make final things, and I'll... In the next couple days, during whatever our next series is, I might make like a, uh... Oh yeah, I have the community posts. Yeah. Uh, either tomorrow, I'll, I'll probably say it in like the next few videos, but I'll make a community post. Maybe directly after this goes out, like when this goes out, I'm not entirely sure when I want to do it. I'll talk it through, I'll set up a date for that, and we'll start streaming. Whether or not... I think, I think I'll probably just stream on YouTube. That's probably what I'm going to do. But, um, I'm going to just, I'm just going to let these run through and we'll be back in a second. So I'll be right back. That didn't change our percentage, but it did add a couple minutes to our time. <laughs> hour above 3700, uh, 37 hours now. Oh, and now the background is an infection. Is like the infected hearts. Interesting. But like, did that add in journal entry for the Hollow Knights? Um, yes, it did. Okay. Fully grown vessel carrying the plague's heart within its body. The old king of Hollow Nest. He must have been desperate to save his crumbling little world. Sacrifices he imposed on others fall for nothing. Okay, then. 
So I think that's going to do us for now. I, I think I already have my next series worked out. So tomorrow it's going to be a Scratch and Itch episode. Then I'm going to be starting my next full series. And then... Maybe Friday? Maybe this coming up... Well, uh, I don't know. I'll work it through. But anyways, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed as much as I have. And I hope to see you next time. So, without further ado, take care, everybody.